Once you deploy a smart contract to the Ethereum blockchain, there is no way to update the code. So if a hacker finds a security vulnerability, you are absolutely defenseless. So one way you have to deal with this is to make some of the function of your smart contract posable. So you will temporarily deactivate them. And you can do this with the Open Zeppelin framework. And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. Hey, I'm Julian and on my channel Eat The Blocks, I teach how to become a blockchain developer and how to find your first blockchain job. So this is a Truffle project. If you don't know what is Truffle, check this introduction video. And I've already installed the Open Zeppelin with this command. And we're gonna edit a smart contract in a contracts directory. So in this smart contract, I have this function here of foo and I want to make it posable. So for that, I'm going to show you the posable smart contract of Open Zeppelin. So this is the GitHub repo of Open Zeppelin. I'm inside the contract slash lifecycle slash posable dot sol file. And so this is the posable smart contract. So let's scroll down. So here we have two things that are important, these two modifiers. First one is when not post. So you can attach this modifier to any function that you want to protect and disable in case the, contact, the smart contract is post. And you also have the other modifier when post. And then you have two function, one function to post the smart contract and the other one to unpose it. So you can see that we have some security measure that were implemented. So for example, pose can only be called when the smart contract is not posed and it can also be called by the poser address. So the poser address is basically the address that deploy the smart contract, but it's possible to give this role to other address. And for that, there is another smart contract in Open Zeppelin that is called poser role inside contract slash access slash roles. So basically, if you want to add another poser, then you use this function add poser. And also a poser can renounce its function here with renounce poser. But usually in simple case, you won't have to deal with this. You will only deal with the posable smart contract. So now how can we integrate disposable smart contract in our own smart contract? Let's go back to our file and first we're going to import the disposable smart contract. So open zeppelin slash contract slash life cycle slash possible dot sol. All right, and then we inherit from it. And then we need to call this constructor. So here we declare a constructor. And we're gonna also call the constructor of posable like this. It doesn't take any argument. And then we have an empty constructor. And then if we want to protect the foo function, then we add the modifier of posable, which is when not posed. And if we have another function that we want to make executable only when this is posed, then we have this other modifier when posed. Here, bar when posed. Next, if you want to keep learning about how you can use the Open Zeppelin framework to create a Solidity smart contract, you should check out this playlist where I have a whole bunch of other videos. I'll see you there.